Hello, I'm Sol. Today we are going to create a um, not create, just notate a melody. Fly me to the moon using MuseScore. And the reason why we want to create this melody using MuseScore is because the um, I'm creating this for one of my music students who plays the trombone. And the music that he found on uh, YouTube is uh, written on bass clef and it's written for C instrument. So uh, when he follows the music first, um, it's a little bit tricky to follow a, a bass clef for some of the trombone players. So we want to uh, move this music to um, treble clef. And also um, when he reads this music written for C instruments and plays it, it sounds a tone lower to B flat. So what we want to do is to move the music up a tone to D. Okay, uh, and that means his uh, sight reading will be a lot easier once we've done those two steps. First step, moving the music from bass clef to treble clef. Second step, we want to move the music up a tone to from C major to D major. Um, I, although the music is written for trombone, I want to use the um, tenor because tenor is typically written. Um, let me just put in the title. Subtitle, um, let's say trombone studies. Yeah, so look, tenor, tenor sheet music typically has this treble clef in an eight underneath. What it means is that uh, you, um, you're supposed to read the music an octave lower than written. And because this music, Fly Me to the Moon, uh, starts from middle C and then it goes lower and lower. So there will be a lot of legion lines. Um, making it really, really difficult to sight read if we um, keep it on middle C. So I want to notate the music from C uh, the, on the third space, in the third, third space, uh, which is an octave higher than middle C, but you still read it as middle C, if that makes sense. Okay, um, and the music has a eight bar intro on piano so while the trombone's just having a you know gathering their thought, thoughts <laughs> so count five not five bars uh, bars eight bars one two three four five six seven eight nine so we're going to start from here and for note input <laughs> Select quavers, note input again. Second bar starts with a dotted crotchet. Ah, oh, the dotted notes are already there. Mm -hmm. That's it I do. Crotch it. Back to Quavers. Another quaver. I'm gonna split them into two wrists, two quaver wrists. Yep, and then no take, no. Uh, and for no take. Finish with a minimum note. And now we're going to put in the um, tight notes. 
uh, to do that, we want to select the first F pi and select the first E using the pi. What's the shortcut? I'll learn that. Is it T? Uh, keyboard T. Um, and I want to reduce the 8 bar rest to just a figure 8 um, with a dash in between underneath. Select all 8 bars. Click the first bar. Shift key. Click the 8th bar. Click the letter M. And instantly you have saved some space because um, here the now you have the figure eight meaning eight bars and then uh, this long wrist bar very good very handy okay let's have a listen ah, not too bad uh, and now uh, the more important part what is the second part uh transposition we want to move this music up um a tone to d there you go and now if you read this music um an octave an octave lower so when you read this d it's in fact the d under the of the first line okay um you should you should get the tone the tune you actually you are actually after okay yeah so the um, new score is such a powerful tool it's done um you you can transpose a piece of music just so so easily within seconds uh, which would take if you if you write it down manually it would have taken you let's say um five minutes so it saves you a lot of time when you um are transposing a large piece of music okay so have a go good luck